What is going on YouTube? McGee Aerial Media here coming at you with a little bit of a different video for you today. I'll be discussing my Dell Optiplex 7070. We got my stats there on the screen and today in this video we'll be upgrading the PSU from a 200 watt to a 260 watt. Let's get into the video. This is the Dell Optiplex 7070 small form factor. You see me here removing the actual solid state drive caddy. It's going to be a one terabyte drive that I store all my files on for editing. One little thing that is unique about this build is the actual graphics card. I'm not able to fit on the inside so that's why you see that PCI extension where I actually have the card mounted on the side. So I know a lot of it's not something that you typically would want to do, but next piece here is you have to remove the grill on the front cover. So that's what you see me doing here. And then once I have that removed to get that actual disk drive out, it was giving me a little bit of trouble. Um, but if you just wiggle it and shake that caddy, eventually it'll just pop out for you. I have the Hyper Fury X RAM cards maxed out with 64 gigabytes. And here we have the main power line for the PSU. It's gonna be that yellow and green looking wire there. There's gonna be a six pin connector right there that powers the motherboard. And then it just wraps around the edge of the actual case up to the power for the CPU. There's gonna be a four pin connector there. So you see me pulling it out here with that four pin connector and then just pulling the wire out that is tucked in. There's little clips, you can see that in the case there that actually holds the wire away from everything. But for these PSUs, there's a four pin that powers the CPU. And then you have that six pin connector right there that's gonna power the entire motherboard. So if you're not sure, you're not familiar with PSUs, it's just basically the power sending unit. The more PSUs, the more power, the more power, the more reliability, the better any additions. The main reason why I'm doing a upgrade to the watts here is eventually I am going to add on a i9. And I believe the i9 for this um, uses 95 watts of power, whereas the i7 that I have on here uses, I wanna say 65 watts of power. So going from a 200 watt to a 260 watt, we'll just make sure everything runs smooth and properly once I do have that CPU upgrade. And then this baby will be pretty much maxed out here for video editing. Um, got the, the RAM maxed out completely. So um, it should be a very powerful unit that will help me with the video editing for a long time. It should have a, a pretty solid uh, lifeline for it to actually edit my videos and take care of what I need to take care of with the 64 gigs of RAM as well. Now that I've got that old unit out, we're getting in the new PSU unit here. There's a little blue tab that you're able to slide over and you'll hear it click into place. I think you'll see me do it right here in just a second. After you get it locked into place, then you just need to basically put the wires underneath the, the clips and then connect your um, power to the motherboard there and then the power to the CPU. Here you see me fighting with the PSU wire, four pin connector to get that routed back over to the CPU power clip. And then here on the next one, you'll see me reinstalling the disk drive caddy back into place to get that secured up and buttoned in and locked down. After you get the disk drive power supply plugged back in and caddy in place, then move over to the actual solid state drive caddy that will actually fit that caddy right on top of the disk drive. After you get both of those wires to get the connection back to the motherboard. 
one of the last pieces that I'll have to connect is that PCI extension. Again, because that graphics card is too big to fit into the small form factor. So I was able to get that PCI extension and actually mount it on the outside of the case. You see the case, I put some two little spots to drill to mount the actual GPU onto the outside of the case. And I also have some black electrical tape to basically had to cut out the bottom and make sure that it doesn't have any rough edges on there so that it won't actually do any damage to that, that PCI extension that I have for my GPU. And once again, I just found some little plastic tabs that I was able to find self-tapping screws. And that just basically holds that PCI extension off. So the graphics card is free from any obstructions. And you can see I have four monitors hooked up to this system to give me the most real estate. So this was my budget build for a editing desktop. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.